The Karnak Temple Complex, commonly known as Karnak, comprises a vast mix of decayed temples, chapels, pylons, and other buildings. Building of the complex began during the reign of Sinisretai in the Middle Kingdom and continued into the Ptolemaic period, although most of the extant buildings date from the New Kingdom. The area around Karnak was the ancient Egyptian Ipit Tizut and the main place of worship of the 18th dynasty Theban triad with the god Amun as its head. It is part of the monumental city of Thebes. The Karnak complex gives its name to the nearby, and partly surrounded, modern village of El Karnak, 2.5 km north of Luxor. Overview The complex is a vast open-air museum, and the second largest ancient religious site in the world, after the Angkor Temple of Cambodia. It is believed to be the second most visited historical site in Egypt. Only the Giza pyramids near Cairo received more visits. It consists of four main parts, of which only the largest is currently open to the general public. The term Karnak often is understood as being the precinct of Amun Ra only, because this is the only part most visitors see. The three other parts, the precinct of Mut, the precinct of the Monchu, and the dismantled temple of Amun Hot IV, are closed to the public. There also are a few smaller temples and sanctuaries connecting the precinct of Mut, the precinct of Amun Ri, and the Luxor Temple. The precinct of Mut is very ancient, being dedicated to an earth and creation deity, but not yet restored. The original temple was destroyed and partially restored by Hatshepsut, although another pharaoh built around it in order to change the focus or orientation of the sacred area. Many portions of it may have been carried away for use in other buildings. The key difference between Karnak and most of the other temples and sites in Egypt is the length of time over which it was developed and used. Construction of temples started in the Middle Kingdom and continued through to Ptolemaic times. Approximately 30 pharaohs contributed to the buildings, enabling it to reach a size, complexity, and diversity not seen elsewhere. Few of the individual features of Karnak are unique, but the size and number of features are overwhelming. The deities represented range from some of the earliest worshipped to those worshipped much later in the history of the ancient Egyptian culture. Although destroyed, it also contained an early temple built by Amenhotep IV, the pharaoh who later would celebrate a near monotheistic religion he established that prompted him to move his court and religious center away from Thebes. It also contains evidence of adaptations, using buildings of the ancient Egyptians by later cultures for their own religious purposes. One famous aspect of Karnak is the hyperstyle hall in the precinct of Amun Ri, a hall area of 50,000 square feet with 134 massive columns arranged in 16 rows. 122 of these columns are 10 meters tall, and the other 12 are 21 meters tall with a diameter of over 3 meters. The architraves on top of these columns are estimated to weigh 70 tons. These architraves may have been lifted to these heights using levers. This would be an extremely time-consuming process and also would require great balance to get to such great heights. A common alternative theory regarding how they were moved is that large ramps were constructed of sand, mud, brick or stone and that the stones were then towed up the ramps. If stone had been used for the ramps, they would have been able to use much less material. The top of the ramps presumably would have employed either wooden tracks or cobblestones for towing the megaliths. There is an unfinished pillar in an out-of-the-way location that indicates how it would have been finished. Final carving was executed after the drums were put in place so that it was not damaged while being placed. Several experiments moving megaliths with ancient technology were made at other locations a euro some of them are listed here. In 2009 UCLA launched a website dedicated to virtual reality digital reconstructions of the Karnak complex and other resources. History The history of the Karnak complex is largely the history of Thebes and its changing role in the culture. Religious centers varied by region and with the establishment of the current capital of the unified culture that changed several times. The city of Thebes does not appear to have been of great significance before the 11th dynasty and previous temple building here would have been relatively small, with shrines being dedicated to the early deities of Thebes, the earth goddess Mut and Monchu. Early building was destroyed by invaders. 
The earliest known artifact found in the area of the temple is a small, eight-sided temple from the 11th dynasty, which mentions Amun Re. Amun was long the local tutelary deity of Thebes. He was identified with the ram and the goose. The Egyptian meaning of Amun is, hidden, or, the hidden god. Major construction work in the precinct of Amun Re took place during the 18th dynasty when Thebes became the capital of the unified ancient Egypt. Thutmose I erected an enclosure wall connecting the fourth and fifth pylons, which comprise the earliest part of the temples still standing in situ. Construction of the hyperstyle hall also may have begun during the 18th dynasty, although most new building was undertaken under Seti I and Ramesses II. Almost every pharaoh of the dynasty has added something to the temple site. Munepta commemorated his victories over the sea peoples on the walls of the Keshet court, the start of the processional route to the Luxor temple. Hatshepsut had monuments constructed and also restored the original precinct of Mut, the ancient great goddess of Egypt, that had been ravaged by the foreign rulers during the Hyksos occupation. She had twin obelisks, at the time the tallest in the world, erected at the entrance to the temple. One still stands, as the tallest surviving ancient obelisk on earth. The other has broken into and toppled. Another of her projects at the site, Karnak's Red Chapel, or Chapel Rouge, was intended as a bark shrine and originally, may have stood between her two obelisks. She later ordered the construction of two more obelisks to celebrate her 16th year as pharaoh. One of the obelisks broke during construction, and thus, a third was constructed to replace it. The broken obelisk was left at its quarrying site in Aswan, where it still remains. Known as the unfinished obelisk, it demonstrates how obelisks were quarried. The last major change to precinct of Amun Re's layout was the addition of the first pylon and the massive enclosure walls that surround the whole precinct, both constructed by Nectar Nebo I in 323 AD. Constantine the Great recognized the Christian religion, and in 356 Constantius II ordered the closing of pagan temples throughout the empire. Karnak was by this time mostly abandoned, and Christian churches were founded among the ruins. The most famous example of this is the reuse of the Festival Hall of Thutmus III's Central Hall, where painted decorations of saints and Coptic inscriptions can still be seen. Equals European knowledge of Karnak equals. Thebes exact placement was unknown in medieval Europe, though both Herodotus and Strabo give the exact location of Thebes and how long up the Nile one must travel to reach it. Maps of Egypt, based on the 2nd century Claudius Ptolemaeus mammoth work Geographia, had been circling in Europe since the late 14th century, all of them showing Thebes location. Despite this, Several European authors of the 15th and 16th century who visited only Lower Egypt and published their travel accounts, such as Jews van Geistel or Andra Copyright the Copyright Vet, put Thebes in or close to Memphis. The Karnak Temple complex is first described by an unknown Venetian in 1589, although his account relates no name for the complex. This account, housed in the Bibliotheca Nazionale Centrale di Firenze, is the first known European mention, since ancient Greek and Roman writers, about a whole range of monuments in Upper Egypt and Nubia, including Karnak, Luxor Temple, Colossi of Memnon, Esna, Edfu, Komombo, Philo, and others. Karnak as a village name, a name of the complex, is first attested in 1668, when two Capuchin missionary brothers Prate and Charles from a section where Dorna copyright Anne's traveled though the area. Prate writing about their travel was published by Melchizedek Copyright Deitch the Copyright Vinot and Johann Michael van Solb. The first drawing of Karnak is found in Paul Lucas' travel account of 1704. It is rather inaccurate, and can be quite confusing to modern eyes. Lucas travelled in Egypt during 1699 Euro 1703. The drawing shows a mixture of the precinct of Amun Re and the precinct of the Monchu based on a complex confined by the three huge Ptolemaic gateways of Ptolemy III Ergit slash Ptolemy IV Philopater, and the massive 130 metres long, 43 metres high and 15 m thick, first pylon of the precinct of Amun Re. Karnak was visited and described in succession by Claude Sicard and his travel companion Pierre Laurent Pintier, Granger, Frederick Louis Norden, Richard Pocock, James Bruce, 
Charles Nicholas Cy Gisbert Sonini de Morne Nord, William George Brown, and finally by a number of scientists of the Napoleon expedition, including Vivant Dienen, during 1798 to Euro 1799. Claude de Permilchen Savary describes the complex rather detailed in his work of 1785 especially in light that it is a fictional account of a pretended journey to Upper Egypt, composed out of information from other travellers. Savary did visit Lower Egypt in 1777 a Euro 78, and published a work about the two. Main parts. Equals precinct of Amunri equals. This is the largest of the precincts of the temple complex, and is dedicated to Amunri, the chief deity of the Theban Trad. There are several colossal statues including the figure of Pinajumai which is 10.5 meters tall. The sandstone for this temple, including all the columns, was transported from Jebel Silsila 100 miles south on the Nile River. It also has one of the largest obelisks, weighing 328 tons and standing 29 meters tall. Equals Precinct of Mud equals. Located to the south of the new Menri complex, this precinct was dedicated to the mother goddess, Mut, who became identified as the wife of Amunri in the 18th dynasty Theban Trad. It has several smaller temples associated with it and has its own sacred lake, constructed in a crescent shape. This temple has been ravaged, many portions having been used in other structures. It is not open to the public. 600 black granite statues were found in the courtyard to her temple. It may be the oldest portion of the site. In 2006 Betsy Bryan, an archaeologist with Johns Hopkins University, excavating at the Temple of Mutt, presented her findings about one festival that included illustrations of the priestesses being served to excess and its adverse effects being ministered to by temple attendants. Participation in the festival was great, including the priestesses and the population. Historical records of tens of thousands attending the festival exist. These findings were made in the Temple of Mutt because when Phobes rose to greater prominence, Mutt absorbed the warrior goddesses, Sekhmet and Bast, as some of her aspects. First, Mutt became Mud Wajet Bast, then Mutt Sekhmet Bast, then Mutt also assimilated Menhit, another lioness goddess, and her adopted son's wife, becoming Mutt Sekhmet Bast Menhit and finally becoming Mutt Nekhvit. Temple excavations at Luxor discovered a porch of drunkenness built onto the temple by the pharaoh Hatshepsut, during the height of her twenty-year reign. In a later myth developed around the annual drunken Sekhmet festival, Ra, by then the sun god of Upper Egypt, created her from a fiery eye gained from his mother, to destroy mortals who conspired against him. In the myth, Sekhmet's blood lust was not quelled at the end of battle and led to her destroying almost all of humanity, so Ra had tricked her by turning the Nile as red as blood so that Sekhmet would drink it. The trick, however, was that the red liquid was not blood, but beer mixed with pomegranate juice so that it resembled blood, making her so drunk that she gave up slaughter and became an aspect of the gentle Hatha. The complex interweaving of deities occurred over the thousands of years of the culture equals precinct of the Monchu equals. This portion of the site is dedicated to the son of Mutt and Amunri, Monchu, the war god of the Theban Trad. It is located to the north of the Amunri complex and is much smaller in size. It is not open to the public. Equals Temple of Amenhot for equals. The temple that Orkhenaten constructed on the site was located east of the main complex, outside the walls of the Amunri precinct. It was destroyed immediately after the death of its builder, who had attempted to overcome the powerful priesthood who had gained control over Egypt before his reign. It was so thoroughly demolished that its full extent and layout is currently unknown. The priesthood of that temple regained their powerful position as soon as Orkhenaten died, and were instrumental in destroying many records of his existence. In popular culture, in Transformers, Revenge of the Fallen The final battle between Optimus Prime vs Megatron, The Fallen, and Starscream takes place in the Hyperstyle Hall at Karnak. Agatha Christie's death on the Nile takes place mainly on the steamship SS Karnak, as well as using the temple itself in one of its scenes. Lara Croft visited Karnak for three levels in Tomb Raider, the last revelation and it was featured in the level editor package. In the movie The Mummy Returns, 
Karnak is one of the places Rick O'Connell and the others must go to, in order to ultimately reach the Scorpion King. The British symphonic metal band Balsagoth have a song called Unfettering the Hoary Sentinels of Karnak. The first person shooter power slave is set in and around Karnak. The first part of the modernist long poem, Trilogy, by H.D. is dedicated, for Karnak 1923. Karnak is featured as a location for exploration in the PC game The Sims 3, World Adventures. Karnak is featured as a location in the PC game Serious Sam. Karnak is featured in the James Bond movie The Spy Who Loved Me. According to the Stargate SG-1 episode Serpent Song, Apapai's host was a scribe in the Temple of Amun at Karnak. In the original Battlestar Galactica series, The Lost Planet of the Gods, Part 2, some shots of the pyramids at Kabul were actually filmed at the side of the Great Temple at Karnak and the Pyramids of Giza, in Egypt. In the Big Finish Doctor Who audio play The Church and the Crown, Irimam Ashintipuram introduces herself as Princess Irimam of Karnak at the court of King Louis XIII of France. Gallery. See also, List of Megalithic Sites. References. Further reading, Blythe, Elizabeth. Karnak. Evolution of a Temple. Routledge. ISBN 978-0-203-96837-6. External links, CFEETK Eurocenter Franco at Permel Giptian DA Permel Tudes Temples de Karnak, Temple of Amun, numerous photos and schemes, Karnak images, www.karnak3d.net Web book The 3D Reconstruction of the Great Temple of Amun in Karnak. Mark, Digital Karnak UCLA, Karnak Temple Picture Gallery at Remains Say.